Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to our next February Friday Art Day. The object I want to look at more closely today is this massive painting in the large art gallery. It was by a guy called Edward Brutnall and his dad actually used to be the editor of Warrington Guardian for a while. Edward seems to really like painting fairy stories. He's also got paintings around of Red Riding Hood, the Frog Princess and Cinderella as well. Have a good look around the picture and see what sort of details you can notice. And I'll tell you now, there are at least three people and three animals in this picture. Nobody ever spots them all first time. Now everyone knows the story of Sleeping Beauty. If you've seen the Disney film, you'll know exactly what's going on. The princess is still under the curse, she's asleep. The prince has found her, he's made his way through the thick forest and he's about to wake her with a kiss and end the curse and everybody will live happy ever after. There are other things though to notice beyond the story. For example, it's full of flowers. All these orange and yellowy flowers you can see, they're called nasturtiums. And in Victorian times, there was a secret hidden language of flowers that only some people knew about. Nasturtiums sort of show the conquest of good over evil. Maybe the artist is trying to show us that the curse will be broken, the prince will triumph and everything will be okay in the end. There's also a sunflower on the prince's jacket. Not too keen on it, but sunflowers were there to show you that somebody had pure and good and lofty thoughts. So the prince is alright, he's a goodie. There's also red and white roses entwined together and they're there to show unity and togetherness I suppose. Think of it today, on Valentine's Day you might still get somebody a red rose to show them that you're secretly in love with them. There are three hidden animals in this picture as well. There's a white dove down here. There's a darker dove that I always think looks like a pigeon just next to me here. And over in the middle of the garden is my favourite, tiny little bright green lizard. Now you know that there's a secret language of flowers, do you think that animals might have meant something as well? The last thing in the painting that's hidden is a person just up in the top right hand corner. I've never figured out if it's a man or a woman. I just know that they're old probably, they've got a cloak over their head and you can see they've got white hair. I've never made my mind up either if it's somebody looking after Sleeping Beauty that was part of the curse. Maybe it's the witch waiting for her to wake up who we've got to blame for this in the first place. Why not come in and have a look? Make your own mind up. Try and figure out who the mystery person in the corner might be. You can come in at any time, it's free, just check the opening times on the website. See you next month, bye.